Hi guys. Good afternoon everyone here. So uh, I believe we are actually in life now. <laughs> yeah, it's just that now because uh, the unit is actually currently is the tenanted. So that is why uh, we still, I, I give you some time, I still try to get the tenant to, you know, come into the, oh, he's in. That's great. Yeah, he's in. Yes. Because we actually started our, our life. Lah. So today our viewing will be uh, live uh, together with the Facebook as well. Lah. So moving forward, uh, this will be the new norm, I believe. Hey, Kuma, how are you? Yeah, you want to say hi to uh, everybody here? I mean, uh, uh, not only everybody inside this Zoom, uh, because right now we are actually going live as well. But in the in the meantime, probably you can rest uh, for a while first, lah. Uh. Yeah, you just need to stand by down there. But I, I will just uh. Okay, hi, hi, guys. Hey, if you let's say you're, 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 uh, come in right, please off your mic, okay? If possible, right, try to off your mic. Come in, uh. uh you try to off your mic. Yeah, thanks. Then, if anything, right, please, uh, you can, uh, for the guests today here, you can actually type in your questions or your any request that you want to see uh, any part of the house later on just type in the uh, chat box below or if you if you can you uh, if you want to speed up right you can unmute yourself and raise the questions lah. if not uh yeah correct so if not right then um because a lot of people talking at the same time now then then very difficult but anyway today is uh we will be viewing a two bader here uh, it's a freehold apartment at Telokurau, uh, Cristalo. So TOP is actually uh, 202015, uh, pretty, pretty young, okay? And then the unit size itself is actually 624. Yeah, then uh, at the same time, while we are actually still uh, pending for some, some more people coming in, I will actually quickly go through uh, with you how is uh, this project is uh, just a short introduction for the benefit of that for those people who really not very familiar in District 15. So I will just quickly run through. At the same time, if people who are actually entering into Zoom, uh, let's say you are using your mobile phone, uh, please remember to swipe to the left. So once you swipe to the left, right, you supposedly you should be able to see my screen. Uh. Let me see. Uh. You should be able to see my screen. It's the share screen right here. It's a welcome screen of the Cristallo, uh, a picture of the Cristallo unit. So for, for, for those people who are using your laptop, right, then you click on your screen on your top right hand corner, there is a, there's a pin video. So you click on the pin video, then you can actually, uh, uh, the, 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 my screen will, the, this share screen one will be the, the main screen in your video. Okay, so you can see from there. Uh, give me a minute. Uh. Hey guys, children, please, please go out. Uh. Daddy is working now. Hey, children, please. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh. sorry guys. So without further ado, right, I will actually uh, start off already. Okay, because we are also live in Facebook as well. So uh, just a short introduction. I have to actually share with you where is this project is very important because uh, Telukurau is a very huge area, you see, in District 15. It's also quite well known. So uh, in Telukurau itself, right, there's a lot of small projects here and there. So I just want to uh, quickly run through so that uh, you guys actually know exactly where is the location is, okay? So right here, you can see the map. This I put up this map. It's, re uh, it's in red color, okay? Uh, so uh, uh, that is where the project is, okay. Uh, then, and then a circle in blue color is the pro project location, okay. And then the arrow actually pointing downwards, right, is actually to uh, a, a Kurao court, okay. So Kurao court is uh, 
uh, there is some eateries down there, lah. So the, the, you you can uh, get some uh, foods and uh, uh, bars and things like that over there. Then beside there, right? Oh, I, I circle in green. Okay. Beside that, if you walk towards the main road, which is the Terukurau Road, there is a bus stop down there. So there is buses traveling to Marine Parade or even to the uh, uh, east area, further down to like bus 33 to Bodo and things like that. Then further down, you walk towards the north right. It's actually the Parkway East Hospital. So one is a private hospital down here. Lah. So <clears throat> it's uh, also in the this District 15. Then beside that, there is some coffee shops. Small, it's a small coffee shop as well. You can get some food over there. So in another direction, uh, you walk all the way straight down to the canal, Siglap Canal, that side, right? It's, uh, it's a park connector. So this park connector is actually all the way uh, connected uh, to East Coast Park. So if you enjoy jogging and cycling and things like that, you can actually uh, go to that, that, that area and actually you can actually go down all the way to East Coast Park. You know, very cozy. Especially now today, uh, it's a very cozy, cooling weather, lah, I would say. So technology sometimes uh, is also good lah, because you know why? Lah? Because now, usually in the past, uh, you physically, you had to go down to the unit there to view the place, lah, right? So it's like, now it's like, wow, very cooling weather, then you don't feel like going out. But technology now make it very easier for us. In fact, you can even view the house uh, through this Zoom and you know Facebook Live. So it helps you, uh, you know, you need not to travel and yet you still can, you know, stay at home cozily and uh, view the house. It's more efficient and easier. Lah. So this actually, we, we should embrace, lah, I would say. Okay, so, uh, uh, okay, where, where, where am I? Okay, now if we, uh, this part connector, if we walk further up, right, it's actually the Tarukura Park. Okay, it's a, a, a park like inside this uh, Talukura area. And then if you walk further down, it's actually Kamangan Station, MRT Station. So uh, it's still walking distance. Like. Later on, I will share with you on the next slide, right? Uh, the exact uh, minute walks uh, uh, are roughly there because I, I checked on the Google map. Like. So over here, uh, there is uh, some eateries also. Okay, uh, I think there's, what is that called? Uh? You Yuki the chicken soup uh, something like that lah. Uh, the Yuki <laughs> Miswa. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Something there. The eatery is there. It's quite famous uh. So beside that, there's also some uh prata shops uh, and uh, Muslim food over here. Okay. And uh, Kamagan. Oh, I just skip that. Okay. Never mind. So there's a Kamagan Plaza over there, just right opposite the station. So this is the estimated uh walking distance to Kambanga MRT station. Uh, so it's about 16 minutes walk. Uh, so you, you, you just not the map that I show you, you actually walk to the park connector and then just go straight up, okay, along the park connector. You will reach uh, Kambanga MRT station. So so now the project, if you are walking below, right, be, uh, towards the marine period, right, so there is also uh, some potential there. Okay, in fact, uh, okay, from the map you see here again, uh, it's also circle in blue. And then uh, uh, likewise, you, you travel from here and you walk straight down. The park connector, right, is actually connected all the way to East Coast Park. Then, uh, of course, there is a St. Patrick School there. And then there is also Katong, Katong School. Okay, yeah, I circle there. And then and another direction, the Talukurau main road, Talukurau Road, when you walk down, there is also some amenities there at the, the, along the East Coast Road there. So there is uh, some shops and uh, coffee terrain over, also over there. A uh, circle in blue as well. Then, uh, of course, in this direction, it's actually heading towards Katong, which is there, there is a, a one, two, and uh, a, some, a, lo a, a lot of things there, la, in fact. Also, it's, uh, it's another main road la, towards the sea, uh, city area. Then if you walk straight down, right, it's actually, I, I plot out here, uh, you can see it's uh, go to one of the primary school, CHIJ, primary, okay. And then if you walk further down, uh, if you walk further down will be the Marine Terrace, uh, 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 the upcoming future MRT station uh, is, uh, is a Thompson East Coast Line. Yes, correct, it's a Thompson East Coast Line. Uh. 
So uh, right now, if you if you happen to travel there, you should be able to to witness that lah. Is currently is the road is under a major construction down there. So it's building up the station there. So that is where the entrance is. And then for of course further down will be the Marine Terrace uh hawker center lah. Oh, there is wet market there as well. Ah, uh, of course. Then, uh, it's very near to the Tanan School. Okay, I highlighted here. In fact, it's uh within one kilometer. Okay, so the future MRT station will be around sixteen minute walks to the station now, uh, approximately there. So likewise, I extract from the Google Map. So this is the direction. And of course, it's the school. Lah. So the surrounding here, District 15, there's plenty of school, I will say that. And uh, it's one of the good schools surrounding here. Within one kilometer is uh, CHIJ, where I just now we have shared. And of course, Tamlan School is inside there as well. Hate Girls, Stan uh, Stan Stanford School as well. Within one to two, there's even more. Lah. Of course, they will be slightly outskirts from there. So, uh, the site plan. Okay, so this is some of the site plan you can see. And uh, usually, if people who are familiar with Tadokura, right, usually their project is uh, very small. Lah. I would say it usually is less than 100 units. But the, 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 the uniqueness of this project, right, is they have a gut house. Because normally, it's like remote control the gate, you press, and then the gate open, you go in. Lah. But this one, there is a guard house, so there is a security guard there one. So something different. Lah. And then, of course, on top of that, right, there is a basement car park, which uh, here didn't return. But you can see the, the, the from this side plan, right, there's a, like a ramp going down to the basement. So there is a basement car park for this project itself. It's something different also. Because most of the project, right, surrounding project is usually is a ground floor car park. Okay, so only second floor on top, then is all the residents. So this is part of uh, the differences here. Now, of course, on top of that, there is a proper, I would say that it's really a proper swimming pool, you know, and there is also a, a proper indoor gym and things like that. So I just share with you here. Okay, I show you some picture, then you will know what I'm saying. So this is like a it's really a proper pool, I will say that, you know, it's, although it's not the Olympic pool, but it's at, at least I would say it's a proper one. Lah. Then of course the indoor gym over here, indoor gym is, uh, and then of course there is, uh, there is a pool deck there. Okay. So I will say that is, uh, uh, I will say it's, it's, it's something different, unique in this project comparing with the rest. And of course there is also a children play area Okay, with uh, outdoor gym there. Also, there is some sitting area. But the barbecue thing uh, is actually at the rooftop. So I share with you here is at the roof that rooftop there. Okay, and of course there is a, a rooftop garden there as well. Lah. So there is also a, a unblocked view towards the CBD area. You might be able to catch some uh, uh, fireworks from there as well. So Today we will be seeing a two bedder size itself is actually six to four square foot. Okay. And this is the layout from the entrance. You come in, actually here you can see the kitchen ready. So the kitchen, uh, 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 of course the direction is facing south. Okay. The kitchen, back to the kitchen. Uh. So the kitchen is, uh, I have put up a picture. So at least later on you, you, you roughly see uh, how it looks like. Uh. So that is the kitchen area with, uh, I mean, it's very pretty well uh, designed, okay? And uh, other than that, then from the kitchen, sorry, from the hall, that is uh, another direction looking towards the hall. So the hall, if you notice, uh, it's, it's also pretty, pretty nice. Uh, they have a full height window panel. So that is why you see the, the unit uh, naturally is it's quite bright. Eh? It's naturally brightness will come in into the house. Uh, even though it's actually on a low rise uh, because the project uh, usually here is low rise. Uh. So this is on the third floor. Okay. So uh, later on, I will share with you more during the virtual, virtual tour. 
Yeah. And of course, on the floor plan here, you can see can fit in a, a, a single bed as well, a small bedroom. Uh, so this is the uh, previously the picture that I took. Okay, and then one bathroom. Okay, so it's two plus one bath. Lah. Okay, the bathroom is also pretty decent, I would say, with shower screen. And of course, the master room actually uh, come with uh, additional balcony area. Lah. And so this is the master room, how it looks like. Okay, so without further ado, so uh, just to uh, highlight again the uniqueness of selling point here. Okay, freehold apartment with a proper facility and a basement car park. Okay, away from the main road. Okay, and then it's naturally bright and uh, well ventilated. Why I say it's well ventilated? Because the living hall, right? Just now we saw a full height window panel, right? But there is also a side window panel from the side, which you can open up and the wind can come in from there. And there's another window panel is actually right at the entrance there. Entrance also there's, there's also one small window panel down there, which naturally light and no wind can come in from there. So that is why it's very well ventilated, even though it's on the low rise. Many good schools within one to two kilometer radius. Okay, of course, the upcoming mar uh, marine terrace are uh, MRT. La. Easy access to Katong uh, Marine Parade Parkway and things like that. You know, people who stay in the east, sometimes they just like to go Parkway. I also don't know why. La, huh? So it's, it's like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we welcome everybody. I mean, welcome uh, our tenant. Kumar, okay, come back to, you know, uh, really he'll be waiting down there to show us the house. So let me just uh, stop my share screen and then I can, uh... okay, Kumar, are you there? Uh, give me a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah, give me a second. I need to look for you. Uh, right. is, uh, I, 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 is, 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 am I actually uh, sharing your screen? Uh? Let me double check again. So is this, uh, give me a second. Okay, because uh, now I'm trying to, what I'm doing right now actually is to show uh, the guests today here so that they they can see your your view uh, to spotlight your view lah okay so i really thank you for today kuma you know to help us you know help the not only me and the seller you know to guide us through this beautiful apartment today lah so i want to say a very big thank you to you also because i know you have busy schedule and we are really appreciate you doing all this for us. Uh, is, I know it's not easy. La. So uh, hopefully, you know. No uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So without further ado, probably I done with all the uh, introduction of the location. Very important. So people here will know where is it. I, I just uh, say again for those who just pop in. Uh, then uh, this is actually a Cristallo. It's a two bedder unit. 624 square foot. And it's actually at Telo Kurao Lolong K. Okay, so we are now at the unit entering from the house. We can, we shall begin, ah, Kuma. So now, yeah. uh, uh, Kuma is showing us, ah, the now we are actually standing at the entrance, and the 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 screen now you can see right is actually the side window panel from the entrance. That's where just now we have mentioned the the house, ah, is well lit up uh, bright natural brightness and then the wind actually coming from all sides so now kuma also showing us the entire living hall space you can see the living is naturally bright okay now uh uh we moving in front right is actually the full height window panel okay of course it's facing another project itself lah. all right but the, uh, uh, i would say that the wind actually coming here from the side because from the yeah now Kuma is just showing us. So from the side it's called uh so called is more unblocked over the area. Wind coming here and uh, it's a quiet environment. Okay, probably we pause here a bit. Kuma can show slightly to the left a bit, just a bit only, so that they can see the window pad. Yes, thank you. So now uh, now uh, guys, so now you see that this is the entire 
uh, hall area from the entrance walking in to the hall. And then from the left, right, you see a bit there is a, a window, a, a tall window panel, right? That is what I have mentioned to you. There is another window panel, actually, the light coming in from and also the 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 wind uh, coming in from there as well. That is why even though you can see the ceiling now, Kuma is not turning on any lighting. So it's like natural brightness of the house. And then from the left, that is where the kitchen uh, appliances. Okay, Kuma is going there. The kitchen appliances together with the induction, you know, the washer and the dryer, come dryer. Yeah, washer and come dryer. The top cabinets down there, kitchen, hope and hope, uh, but the, the stove is actually a uh, induction. And if I'm not wrong, there is the oven, right? I can't really. Yeah, remember. microwave. Oh, it's a microwave. All right. Yeah. Okay. And there's a sink just right beside there. All right. So it's, it's I would say that it's, uh, it's, it's very well designed uh, in terms of uh, uh, for, for all the, the kitchen needs. It's all there. And then beside the sink will be just the, uh, what is that called? Okay, uh, fridge. It's the fridge with some storage down there. Okay, you can see from there. It's some storage purposes down there. So it, it, it's, it's like a complete set of uh, kitchen uh, appliances there. Yeah, it's very well designed. It's not really like it into the... Because sometimes, uh, some units, right, when you go into the house, right, you should always see the kitchen appliances, everything is there. But this house doesn't seem that way because it, it's like it's, it's like concealed slightly inside. So when you enter from the entrance, right, you, you only see the hall. You will okay, only see the hall and the, you know, the, the space and things like that. So Kuma, probably we can show them the dining side because there is cabinets, I believe. Yeah, so there is some storage down here. The cabinets, of course, the, the, the cabinets top can they open up is the, the where is the Wi-Fi is, I believe. Yeah, that's where the... Yeah. All right, master. Now we are heading into the master. Okay, so from here we can see the master can fit in the queen size together. There's uh, also a sliding glass panel. Okay, opening up to the balcony area. So with a cozy balcony. And there's also a built-in uh, wardrobe from there. Flooring wise, uh, if I recall, it uh, should be laminate flooring. If I recall, it's a laminate flooring. So two doors built-in, okay. And you notice, right, actually this, this apartment, uh, the ceiling is actually quite high. Yeah, later on, we, we, we share a bit more, okay? So from here, now the angle we are seeing is uh, Akuma is standing from the balcony, that side, if I assume. Probably we can see some view from the balcony. So at least, yeah. Okay, so the balcony is facing another project. Lah. So it's, it's, it's uh, the same, it's, it's similarly to the, uh, the the living hall. The living hall is also facing another project. Yeah. Oh, so now we head back. Of course, you have to draw the curtain lah, if you are, you are sleeping sometime, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's very <laughs> yes, because someone asked me inside the chat box. Okay. Okay. So now we head back to the another room. Okay, so currently this room is, uh, I believe, is Kuma workplace. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you can see this is the space now. Currently, he he use it as is uh, uh staying at home to work uh. So that is where it is uh. And then of course there's a uh, two wardrobe at the side. Okay, not two wardrobe, two doors wardrobe. Yes. Alright. And it can fit in a single bed in, in this room itself. Lah. But of course now it's already preoccupied by the work desk and stuff like that. So if you are a single person, I will assume that it's, it's quite cozy. Because this one, it can be just like a study area for you. Or if most of the time you are working at home, I think 
this is just like your workplace already. It's, it's exactly almost like what is Kuma is doing now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ken, so now we, we take a look at the bathroom. Okay. So two bed, one bath. So uh, the bathroom, uh, I will say that it's pretty decent. You can come with your shower screen, okay? And a proper uh, vanity area and uh, stuff like that. Okay. Any part of the house that you guys uh, wish to uh, take a look? Okay, someone have asked me to probably stand at the entrance there to look at the the living hall one last time. Yeah, we are on the third floor, guys. Yeah, okay, so this is, uh, you just hold it there, will do. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Oh, that is what I mentioned because when you come in, right, you won't see the kitchen. It's slightly a bit different from some of the uh, condos. Uh, because some condos, you open the door, you straight away see your kitchen ready. So this one is slightly concealed at the side. So that is what I mean. In fact, if you look at the, the, the screen right now, right, uh, there's, you can put in a three-seater there. Right? <laughs> so basically, it's, it's quite spacious, right? I will say that. And the ceiling height is also, uh, I believe it's more than 2.5. Definitely, it's more than that. Right? Yes. Okay. So if not, right, then, uh, let me just share the last portion here. So Kuma, you can uh, uh, rest for a while. Okay. Let me share my screen again. All right. Thank you for the virtual tour. So now I want to just uh, quickly touch on before we come to the end of this uh, viewing. Uh, the price comparison around this area because as you guys know that uh, there's a lot of small project in Telukula especially and most of them actually is freehold la. so now I plug out some of the uh, transaction around this area uh, it's a combination of uh, resale and uh, new launches la. of course you can see from here is uh, Park Elegance so Park Elegance is actually more towards nearer to the uh, Changi Road main road there okay Prestige Law, Heritage East. Heritage East is uh, also along the, what is that called, the East Coast Road there. So these are the average PSF was being done. Okay, and we are actually highlighted here in the middle in blue color, which is uh, only two transaction was done for the past two years. This, this chart was actually plotted out for two years time now because when your development is uh, small enough, hardly, there is a, a transaction throughout the, the year. Okay, so that's why we need to use part of others project for comparison. So this is by as at East Coast. Uh, this one is the one that we is nearer to the CHIJ project. Okay, whereby downstairs there is some uh, shops, commercials there. Yeah, so uh, there was eight transaction transacted is 1,005. La. So we will say that we are somewhere in between. Uh, of course, of course, our pricing is actually uh, still negotiable. La. If the seller is here today, I don't know whether the seller is here today. We can actually, you know, put up, if there is any keen buyer or whatever, it, we can try to, you know, put up to ask uh, seller if whether to give us a 10% discount. <laughs> then, you know, they're happy for everyone. Everybody can move on and things like that. Okay. But of course, uh, uh, the new launch here, yes, in, in uh, Tarukurao, the, the launch price is uh, as such. Uh, uh, so I don't know how to pronounce this. Okay, the, another one is actually Infinite in, at East Coast. Was, uh, 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 the, the PSF is relatively, I would say, it's quite high. Uh, it's almost very near to Amber area prices really. So in terms of uh, average price, I would say that it's uh, considered still, uh, you know, uh, affordable la, in a way. Okay. So lastly, before we come to the end, this is a freehold apartment. Please bear in mind, this project itself have a proper facility, unlike some of the project you see, usually is Wayang, the swimming pool is relatively small. 
So this one have a proper facility with a basement car park. Okay, that is some of the uniqueness here. And it's away from the main road. Okay, the, the, the unit is naturally bright and well ventilated. Okay, many good school is around this radius. Okay, so if you are startup, uh, a startup couple and planning for kids in future, this is something that, you know, I would say is affordable and you can start out from. Okay, of course, the future potential is the upcoming future, uh, eh, sorry, uh, future Marine Terrace MRT down there. Then, likewise, if people who stay in the East, they would like to travel to, you know, Katong and Marine Parade and East Coast Park and Parkway and, and such like that. Lah. So, there's a lot of uh, uh, amenities around, lah, I would say that. All right, someone have asked me something. Uh, Give me a second. I can't open up the chat box. Uh. Sorry, uh, you want to unmute yourself and ask because I cannot open the chat box. Eh. So, uh, so for you guys who uh, uh, just pop by in, just uh, just to rephrase, uh, this unit is actually it's a two beta at Cristalo at Tolokulao Lolongke. So uh, this is come to the end of our presentation. Once again, I want to thank you, Mr. Kuma. He's the tenant of this unit, okay, uh, for showing us um, this beautiful home. So thank you everyone for coming in today for this open house and live in Facebook. So, uh, so far we have conducted a few viewings already. Lah, and we actually expected some offers to come in. In fact, we have offer, we have offer already over the last weekend viewing. Uh, of course, there is still negotiation going on uh, between the seller and buyer. So if let's say if you are, uh, uh, I mean, if you, you are here with your agent, uh, please revert to your agent real quick. Uh, if not, if you are a direct buyer, then you, you may come back to, to me for any question. So if since I have answered all the questions, I think that's all for today. And I hope everyone have a great day. And the weather is very cooling today. So stay home and stay safe. And But don't miss this opportunity to own this lovely unit. Okay. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a nice day and great weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Eh? <laughs> oh, someone has asked me, it's not a shoebox unit. Nah. So obviously you can see it's not a shoebox unit in Terukura. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Uh.